Hey, beautiful beaters. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com. I have something a little fun and different today that I wanted to share with you guys. So I've been alerted by a couple different people about these in the past. These are the Bosses Bead Bags from Fire Mountain Gems. And I want to thank Regina in particular because she's kind of checked up on me to see if I was able to get these. And she was one of the earliest people to alert me about these bags. But every once in a while throughout the year, they go on sale uh, for $5. They're regularly $9.69, which seems like a decent deal to begin with but every once in a while they go on sale for five dollars so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting since she told me that to get these on a sale and finally they went on sale again and I snapped up three of them they are a grab bag it's one pound of random beads and findings in these bags so it says on their website that it could be anything it could be gemstones acrylic glass wood metal neat odds and ends and these have been a customer favorite for years evidently so i'm really excited to get my hands on three of these i was going to do them all just in one video but i think it's going to be way too much so i'm going to start out with unbagging one of these with you guys and we can go through and see what's inside for just five dollars to see if these are worth it and then if they are you'll definitely want to keep your eyes peeled for their next five dollar sale looks like they are back up to regular price but from what i've been told they do go on sale once or twice per year and i'll try to alert you guys of the next one so this is how they came all wrapped up together in one big bag and i'm just gonna pull from the top i'm gonna take out this very top one here as you can see it's all sealed up and I have no idea what's inside and I've been so excited to find out so let's open it up together. Okay well that's cool everything is in a bag inside of that bag so that's nice and then it looks like we've got some extra charms here so that's really cool. It says love that's very sweet so that was included on the outside of this bag. So, wow, look at all these things. This is going to be crazy. My son is going to love this, too. We're going to have fun sorting through all of these beads and findings. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump it out. Wow, look at this, you guys. There is so much stuff in here. What in the world? There's all kinds of crazy stuff in here. I think this would be so much fun too if you have any kids that like to craft with you because this is like going through treasure. You just don't know what you're going to find. So like, oh my goodness, we even have like a comb finding in here. That's crazy. Little barrette, like a bobby pin. Another one. We've got some earring findings in here. Whoa. Look at this cabochon. That's really neat. We got a little bell. That's cool, this earring finding. I'm hoping that since I got three bags, I'll get some duplicates of certain things over time. Oh my goodness. So yeah, here's a gemstone. This is a really cool chunk. It's asymmetrical. There's the hole right there. So it kind of looks like citrine. It's just a pale yellow stone. That's really neat. That could be a cool focal. I like this little leaf right here. Oh, a little music note. Ooh, look, there is a match. And then let me take this off of there. So we have a pair of these. I'm going to bring over another mat so I can start sorting some of this stuff out. So I just started setting a couple things aside as I'm looking through just things that I saw pairs of. Oh, there's another one of these. Things that I want to separate and another one. So if you're the type of person that likes sorting through stuff like this, you probably love it. If you don't, you probably hate it. But for five bucks, and I love sorting through stuff like this. Because I just love to see what I'm going to find. Here's some other little bells. These are so cute. I think this is just so much fun. Here's another one. I've actually been wanting some of these findings. So this is the... Let's see. There's... I have six of these now. So that's great. Really excited about that. Just trying to pull out certain things that... 
kind of look similar. So these are really cool. I've seen these used in bracelets and different things. They're just like a long tube you can string onto wire or cord. Oh, this is neat. I'm not sure what that's made of. But it looks pretty cool. Could be glued onto something. I don't see any holes or beaded around. Like that a lot. That's pretty. It's like a frosted. I don't know, it might be acrylic, but it's very pretty. Little heart. That's cute. Here's another one, like the one earlier, but it's gold. So again, I think it could be either glued to something or beaded around. It's pretty cool. Looks like a big button, but there's no holes and nothing to attach it to, I don't think. This is just like a large red acrylic type cabochon. I'm just picking up some random bits of these metal pieces that I'm seeing in here. It's really so much more than you'd expect to be in one of these little bags. Oh, look, there's a little mini bell. That's cute. Some more. Ooh, these match. Yay, I love getting matches. These are so cute. I like those a lot. Those will make some really nice connectors. We got another one of these. Just picking up some other metal bits that I'm finding. That's for like a, a clip-on earring, I guess. We got some chunky looking beads in here too. All kinds of stuff. Pulling out some chunky ones. Some of these plastic ones are just not really my thing, so I'm going to set certain things aside for a future giveaway. There's some of these chunkier beads. Check this out. Isn't that pretty? Oh man, this would make a beautiful pendant. That is a gorgeous shade of like a dusty rose pink. And then on the other side, it's coral and part of it's got stripes in it. I love this. I really love this. That's cool. Could use that for kind of an interesting looking ring. Of course, put you know a larger bead on top of that and maybe bead around it and maybe add some leaves. That could be kind of cool. We got a little guitar. Some more interesting beads and cabochons. Another little hair accessory. Here's one of those little needles. That's cool. I'm gonna start picking up some of these earring findings that I see. Seen quite a few little fish hooks in different colors. Here's a kidney. Another fish hook. Wow, there are so many things, even underneath other things. Another kidney wire. <laughs> that's cute, a little coin. Lots and lots of charms under here, too. Oh, that's pretty. A little green glass heart. Not sure what that is. Oh, I like this. That's a really pretty cab. Some uh, grayish blue and white swirls. There's just some stuff on there I can wipe off. That's pretty. I like that color a lot. I'm going to pick up some of these wood beads as I see them. I'm going to put these together for my son to play with. So a little jingle bell. A little ladybug. Lots of these little colored wooden beads. Great to get your kids involved in this, so your grandkids, nieces, nephews, kids of friends. They would love something like this. I know my son would love this. He's going to have fun looking through all these things, too. There's another cool bead. Asymmetrical. Another interesting cab. This one feels like it is glass. Kind of orangey-yellow.
And how cute are these? These almost feel like bone. I'm not 100% sure, but those are really cute. So after I go through all this, I'm going to show you everything a little bit more organized, how I've picked out certain things that I'm going to keep, certain things I'm going to pass along in a future giveaway, certain things that I'm going to bag up for my son, and that way it'll give you kind of more of a more organized and overall view of all the things that are actually in one of these Paz's bead bags for $5. So I'm going to continue to sort through this and probably put it to music. So if you want to keep watching, feel free. If you don't, if it's not your thing, I definitely understand. At least hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what's inside, and you can check out the end of the video to see kind of everything more laid out and organized, if you just want to check that out. time going through that boss's bead bag. It was so much fun. I love pulling out a lot of the things that caught my eye at first. I have a whole nother mat that I'm going to show you after this of things that I was really excited about that I know I'm going to keep and use. These are other things that I sorted out after that. I kind of sorted some things by size. That was my plan of attack. So I had put all of the colorful and other wooden beads in a bag separate for my son to definitely play with. He'll have fun with these in crafting and making some things. And then with the leftover beads, I kind of sorted them by size. I also put all the extra findings together, so I'm actually going to hang on to this just to see if there's other matches to some of these findings in the two other bags that I have. And then some other random things down here, some little bells and all kinds of good stuff. So I'm either going to be giving these to my son to play with, certain things I will keep for a future giveaway for sure that will be fun, and certain things I want to go through the next bags just to see 
if there's any other matches. So let me pull over my other mats so you can see the rest of the contents a little bit more organized. So here's a peek at some of the things that I was most excited about in the boss's bead bag. I thought it was cool that we even got some little hair accessories and stuff like that. I'm really excited about these earring findings because I actually wanted some of these. These just kind of pop out on one side and then you can put beads on them and they just kind of clip in place at the top. So those should be fun. And there's quite a few of those. We got some other findings, all these little connectors down here and some really beautiful beads and cabochons that I'm really excited to play with. So for $5, heck yeah, that's a great deal. Hopefully this helps you guys if you were curious to know what kinds of things you can find in the boss's bead bag from Fire Mountain Gems. This video again is in no way associated with Fire Mountain Gems, but I know I've been excited to get my hands on some of these on their $5 sale. And I was really excited to share the contents with you guys. So if you like this video, let me know and I will definitely share the contents of my other two bags hopefully in the near future and maybe there are some matches to some other things that I got in the first bag. It really is so much more than you'd think in those boss's peed bags. I will say it again if you have any kids around that you want to get involved more in crafting and things like that I think they would love it. I know when I was a kid I would have loved to have gotten a bag like this and to have gone through it. That would have been so much fun. It's still fun for me now. By the way the shipping I paid was about I think $5.99 so I got three three bosses bead bags and the shipping and it was all about 21 bucks for three bags shipped to my door. Basically made the bags about seven dollars a piece. And you just never know what you're gonna find in here. There's just such a huge variety. Yeah there's a lot of stuff I'm not gonna use but there are some things I'm really excited about and I think that's part of the fun. So thank you guys so much for being with me on another video. I hope to see you guys very soon for more bead hauls, tutorials, finished jewelry updates, and subscription unboxings. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and as always happy beating if you enjoyed this video i'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos check out the information section under the video for links to my social media handles and other helpful info and feel free to check out my shop at orchidinople.com thanks for watching